Hey, welcome to Mandor Metal Art Workshop. Come on in. we're here in the workshop with live students and what I'm going to be doing is teaching you guys and kind of showing you guys some of those techniques I showed you earlier how they're actually applied in a real world situation with different kinds of projects so come on come with me rather than doing like let's say a bead weld here really all you can do is make a single connection point so this is where you're going to be working on a tack weld okay. Just a simple tack weld. You're gonna put it in a 45 degree angle, not gonna move. I'm gonna put my helmet down here. I'm just doing a little bit moving, doing a little bit moving, doing a little bit moving. So from there to there, I did a bead weld. We're taking you behind the scenes today to show you guys actually what we do when we do commission work. So what we're working on over here is a couple of wall hanging fireplaces that folks in San Miguel have ordered from us from the gallery. So I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes, show you some of the techniques that we use to make these and just have fun. So come on. Is all recycled materials. Hey everybody, welcome back to Van Dorn Metal Art Studio. I am Alex here as always with you. And today we are going to be talking about the wonderful, magical, mysterious world of plasma cutting. Hey everybody, my name is Alex Van Dorn. Welcome to the studio, Van Dorn Metal Art Workshop. Thanks for tuning into our season premiere of an ongoing web series we're doing to show everybody all the awesome stuff that we do here in the Metal Art Workshop and teach you about a lot of different things. What we're going to do today is I'm going to tell you a little bit before we get into all the nuances of everything we do in the actual workshop and in our commission work, I'm going to tell you a little bit about us, how we got here, why we're here in San Miguel doing what we do. So we've been doing commercial metal art for about 20 years, my dad and I. We started off in Taos, New Mexico doing construction projects and we were making these little fun metal accoutrements for our houses that we were building every summer, we realized, hey, we like making the metal stuff more than we like doing the construction. So we started a metal art workshop, started doing big commission work. It got to where we were doing public arts projects and huge sculptures and fountains for businesses, restaurants, insurance buildings, residential, commercial, you name it and we were loving it. But for years, people said, hey, can you get us into your studio? Can you teach us how to do what, we, what you do? And we just never had the time. So we finally, when we moved down here to San Miguel, took a step back, relaxed a little, and realized that we needed to pass it on. So we wanted to teach other people how to do what we had been doing. And so for the last three years, we've been doing this amazing metal art workshop, and it's been a real humbling experience. We've had, I think we just celebrated our 125th class and it's just been fantastic. It's really amazing to see people's eyes light up, somebody who's never done any metal artwork before, and then they start to realize that they can actually do it. They can actually weld, they can actually plasma cut, they can actually grind, they can actually shear and rivet and do all the other stuff. And it's fun to teach them about metal theory and all the things that go into doing the amazing stuff that we do. Like for instance, let me show you this sweet piece that a First timer just made in the class not too long ago, a couple months ago. This is a bunch of different sized rods that are what's called hot rolled, and I'll tell you more about that later. We've got plasma cutting that went into this thing. We got welding, we got grinding. It's a pretty amazing piece. The woman who did this is 84 years old, the oldest person who actually ever came through the workshop. And she didn't think she had any artistic ability, any artistic talent, but she got excited when she saw our poster around town, she came in, she gave it a shot, and she had a blast. So I just love this because what this shows me is that anybody can do metal art. And really all it takes is an excitement about the process and a willingness to learn, and that's all you need. So you know what? Enough about that, enough about us. Let's go in, let's go check out the workshop, come on.
and we're in the workshop. Okay, now this is where all the magic happens. Look, you got people grinding, you got people welding, we got cut pieces, we got found pieces over there. Suzanne's working on crazy bird's nests. This is where everything that we do occurs. So come on, let me show you some stuff, all right? Over here, I got Nikki working on what's called a rocket stove, which is an amazing kind of a new fad where people are making this in-home stove that's made out of metal, where you actually feed it in, it'll keep your house warm for hours on almost no fuel, it's amazing. Thing probably costs about 25 bucks to make, save you about 100 bucks a month. Okay, now let's talk to people. Suzanne from Napa, one of our friends. She's a returner, she's a vet. She's been in here a bunch of times. Suzanne, tell them what you're making. Well, I found this rusty chair and I decided to make a nest. Uh, cool. And the come nest on in, come have, on in. The nest will have it's a succulent planter. Now, around the end. Now, I love this piece because it's a use of so many things. We've got found art. We've got patinaed actual metal pieces that were cut out of a huge sheet and made into leaf-like forms. We've got actually ground up pieces of what's called mild steel that actually look like an egg now. And we've even got a spring from an old mattress. This thing has everything. Well, now we've got Nikki over here from Vancouver who's making a rocket stove. Okay, this thing is super cool. Nikki, tell them about what it is. So a rocket stove can be used as like a room heater or a little portable stove. Um, basically what it does is it uh, takes in sticks that you can uh, put in both chambers here and that puts embers down to the bottom and that creates a vortex of fire that comes up the that's awesome. Okay, Nikki came in with this idea by himself. What I love about the workshop is, I don't think we've ever done the same thing twice. He comes in, he goes, I wanna make a rocket stove. I said, what's a rocket stove? But yeah, let's do it. So, all right, thank you, sir, keep working. Look at these welds, by the way, just wanna say. Kid could not weld for anything when he came in here. But he's actually taking a semester with us, which is cool, he keeps coming back every week, he keeps getting better and better, I right, keep working on it. All right, all right, let's see what you got, buddy. And we're back in the quiet studio, away from the workshop. Anyway guys, thank you for watching our season premiere. We had a lot of fun making it. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching it. We're gonna be back every single week with a new episode. We're gonna teach you guys all about all the individual tools that we use, what they are, how they work, how you can learn to use them very easily. We've come up with amazing ways to teach people how to use all the tools that we use in our commission metal art. Old school stuff, new school stuff. So keep tuning in. We're gonna take you guys out into the world of San Miguel and Mexico in general, show you the culture, the people, what other people are doing in metal art and art in general. So we're also gonna teach you guys again how to start your own metal art workshop, how to get the tools, how to get started, and how to jump in. So keep watching, click the subscribe button below, keep liking us on Facebook and Instagram, and we will see you next week for our next episode. And if you wanna see something and you're a metal art enthusiast out there, you wanna see us do something in here, send us a message, we'll make it happen. We'll see you guys soon.